Let's move on to our third main topic today. Chris, what is our third main topic today? Third topic is from Javin Carter. John, I love your idea of having Robert Downey Jr. being the next Stanley, doing cameos for all future MCU movies. I think they should take it one step further and give him new hair and makeup and make him a new character extra for each film. It'd be great if when he's on screen, we don't even recognize him. Your thoughts? Thanks. So how should these cameos be executed? Okay, let's be clear first, though. <laughs> that ain't my idea. <laughs> I never even said I was for this. I think it got mentioned that somebody else had mentioned that, but let's be clear, that wasn't my idea. But here's the thing. This has come up a lot lately. And, you know, somebody put this in as, as, a ch as a super chat question the other day, but I've gotten, you know, as I go through the emails that you guys send in, there's actually been a number of people have been writing in about this, and I've seen it on social media as well. The concept of, you know, at first when Stan Lee passed away, the idea came up of what about replacing, you know, the Stan Lee cameo, since he can't do them anymore, with Deadpool cameos. It's like, okay, that's a neat gag, but the Stan Lee cameos in the Marvel MCU movies, they were funny, but they weren't exclusively a gag. They were paying honor and homage and creating connective tissue of honoring maybe the guy most responsible. There are other people as well to credit, make no mistake about it, but maybe the guy most responsible for what we have today. It was a reverent homage to a Titan as well as being funny gags. And one of the great things about it was that these cameos transcended just the MCU. We saw him in Sony's Spider-Man movies. We saw him in Fox's Deadpool. Again, I still contend to this day his greatest cameo was Stan Lee, a strip club DJ in Deadpool. How do you get any better than that? Answer, you can't. That's right. So anyway, that was great. Um, what was it? You can't buy love, but you can rent it for $20 a song. Anyway, or something along those lines. It's great. So everybody seemed to move, get that, and we all move beyond the Deadpool being the cameo thing. But with the retirement of Robert Downey Jr. out of the MCU, a popular idea has become, what about Robert Downey Jr.? It's not a straight up gag, but being as kind of one of the forefathers of the MCU, would that become an appropriate thing to do? I have mixed feelings about it, to be honest with you, Rob. On the one hand, the notion of you know, Robert Downey Jr. kind of becoming a singular character connective tissue throughout all the MCU movies that he at least pops up in each one. That's intriguing. It's actually what Samuel Jackson's Nick Fury was at first. Mm -hmm. When the MCU started, Nick Fury was that connective tissue. Now he doesn't appear in every single movie. So maybe you could do that. But at the same time, Robert Downey Jr. did not create Iron Man. He didn't write the story. He didn't create all the characters. I, I personally feel, look, I could you could do worse than replacing the Stan Lee cameos with Robert Downey Jr. cameos. You could do worse than that. But honestly, Rob, where I'm at right now is I feel like we're all in so much of a rush to ask who replaces the Stan Lee cameos and we're losing focus of the question, should we replace the Stan Lee cameos? There is no other Stan Lee when it comes to the Marvel characters. There is nobody else like that. To me, you diminish that, that homage, that reverence that we were paying him by having him cameo in all of them. You cheapen it a little by saying that was just a role that can now be filled by somebody else. Mm -hmm. It was exclusively about Stan Lee. Those ca they didn't want to have cameos in all the movies. Like, well, who do we make these cameos by? Well, why don't we go with Stan Lee? No, it started with Stan Lee. How do we honor Stan Lee? Put him, in, put him in cameos in all these movies. You don't replace it. So while if you have to replace them and do a regular cameo bit with somebody, Robert Downey Jr. is not a bad choice. I just don't think you do it at all. There was only one Stan Lee, and we don't need another one. I don't know, Rob. Uh, maybe I'm being a little bit sentimental about that, but I don't know. How do you see it? I'm with you 100%. The Stan Lee cameos didn't begin with the MCU either. Right. They were, yeah. they were in earlier movies from different studios. Mm -hmm. And I, I think Stan Including Lee Including Kevin Smith films. Right. And Stan Lee was a one-of-a-kind uh, man. 
and and it was honoring. I mean, Jack Kirby wasn't there to also do co- you know cameos and and the other the other artists that contributed to the beginnings of the Marvel uh, universe. And I, I I think those were a singular unique thing. And I don't even I don't even get the idea of why people think there should be some kind of cameos in Marvel movies because just because you've done it for one person doesn't mean it's a tradition unto Stan Lee himself, not anyone else. I mean, Robert Downey Jr. was an actor playing a character in the canonical universe of those movies. So to have him come back is, in my mind, it's a fourth wall. Even though Stan Lee's cameos were fourth wall breaking things, really, they became a part of the DNA of Marvel movies. And like you said, even Kevin Smith had Stanley in his movies. Yeah. So it didn't, for whatever reason, it doesn't break the fourth wall. When you see Stanley with his Excelsior bumper sticker, "Make love, not war," in Endgame, <laughs> you don't have the fourth wall shattered for you. It's like mm-hmm. here's the here's this here's a watcher. He was the watcher. Yes. You know, he was yes. the watcher of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and you could buy into that. Mm-hmm. You know, and people could be like, "Oh, that's why he's in Deadpool because the Watcher spans the multiverse." You know, and I, I don't think they should have cameos anymore. Mm-hmm. Chris, like, I guess the question goes is, mm-hmm. is kind of evolved into a twofold one. One, mm-hmm. how would you feel about a Robert Downey Jr. fulfilling that role? But then the second one is, should they even f- replace the role at all? I'm going to re- address the second part first because no, I don't think they should do that. And if you're going to have cameos that are going to honor a comic book creator like Stanley. If you're going to even come close to that, oh, excuse me, I'm going through puberty real quick over here. All right. (laughs) If you're going to even try to do that, then you need to go back to comic book artists and creators. You could have cameos with Jeff Loeb, with Tim Sale, with uh, Kevin Smith could be one. You know, you would bring in people who work on these comics. Should you do that, though? I don't think so. Stan Lee was, you know, the father of all these comics and kind of all of our pop ops, you know, like Stan mm. Lee has a very special place in all of our hearts. And he was the nicest guy. I got to meet him a couple times. He was so sweet. I don't think it does him justice to replace him with anyone. That being said, I love RDJ. Obviously, who doesn't? But I don't want him used in that way. I want Tony Stark to be AI. When Peter put on those glasses, God, I kept waiting for him to talk. I kept waiting for a hey kid and have him be Peter's Friday or Peter's Karen. And I really am hoping that that's what we do with Robert in the future is have him utilize like that, especially with Riri Williams on the way. Let's bring in some AI, Tony. But don't have him be Stan. Let Stan exist how he did. Don't try to replace him because he can't be replaced. Question is, guys, how do you feel about that? Number one, I guess, should they replace and have a regular on-running cameo situation or not? And if so, what do you think about the idea of Robert Downey Jr. fulfilling that role? Jump down to the comments section below and leave us your thoughts. All right.